this has probably been the worst weekend in all of physical media history because Vinegar Syndrome decided to ruin an entire national holiday. A weekend that all of us Americans are off, kicking back, not laboring. And what do they do? They say, we're gonna have a sale. You know, our Labor Day sales always suck, but this one's gonna be different. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna have out of print titles. We're gonna have new sick releases on Sunday. You know, and it's gonna be a rotating list of out of print stuff. And we're gonna have all these sales. And let's just put it this way, the sales, it was business as usual for their Labor Day crap. It was stuff they can't get rid of. Yeah, they slashed the prices. There was stuff for 75%. There was stuff for 60%. There was stuff for 50%. But let's put it this way, everything 75 and 60% sucked. It was stuff they can't get rid of. Nobody in their right mind wanted it. And the 50% off stuff is stuff they've been sitting on forever, but they're just too nervous to put it below 50%. I'm sorry. No one cares about Chuck Norris. They had barely cared about him back then. The only reason he even remained mildly relevant is because a bunch of old people liked watching Walker, Texas Ranger. And I hate to tell you, sidekicks isn't a draw. It's time to make it 80% off Get rid of what you can and move on with your life. Jesus. 50%. They've been trying to sell that for 50% for literally like two years. No one cares. No one wants it. It's disgusting. Yeah, I'm sure Daryl is going to be in that list too. No one wants that, you know. But, you know, there was a lot of sick, rare stuff that I thought you'd see in this out of print section and it didn't pop up. Yeah, we got rad. We got rad with no old slip cover, no new slip cover, standard edition, huge disappointment, already talked about it. Night one was a complete bust. It was a bunch of mid tier, low tier, valueless crap that they couldn't get rid of two years ago. And that's the other thing. Most of this out of print stuff was stuff that literally they were trying to sell for $10. You know, just in the last couple big sales, you know, they were all like every time they had their, their mid, their mid, you know, halfway to Black Friday sale, Black Friday sale. This is the stuff they'd sell for $10 because they're just trying to get rid of it. And it would take all weekend for it to sell out. And now magically they came up with a few hundred copies, you know, stuff like the collar. And what are they doing? They're charging full price. No discount, not even 50%. And they got a bunch of chumps who are just like, oh, I really need to pick that one up. I don't care if he's missing the slipcover. And that's the other thing. They had a lot of stuff that they said is out of print, but it wasn't actually out of print. What was out of print was a slipcover, which again, I'm after. I think like 95% of the community is just after the slipcover because again, that's where the value is. That's where the coolness of these releases comes from is these sick slipcovers, these sick deluxe boxes. But they put the whole movie in there, you know, standard definition, or not standard definition, but standard release and everything. They act like the whole release is out of print. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Yeah, it's awesome that it was there. It's cool to see it on the list. You know, I have like 10 copies of that deluxe box set, so I don't necessarily need any more. But then once it sold out, you know, this had the standard edition up there. Is that out of print? Did, did Vinegar Syndrome literally like sign a deal for like, we're going to have the license for this for like a year and a half, two years? I think literally what, it came out in 2022, I'm pretty sure. I think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably not because I'm an expert, but like... Are they done with it already? And if they are, someone else is just gonna put it out with a slipcover, you know? It's probably gonna be like, you know, Screen Factory, and we all know Screen Factory is gonna have a beautiful slipcover on it, and it's gonna have that 4K resolution, just like the old one, which no one's gonna watch anyways, but people are gonna magically want that one more than they would have the Vinegar Syndrome one anyways. So if that's the case, then why did I even buy it to begin with? This is supposed to be the be all end all release. Oh, you know, it's just, it's frustrating. Why, and not only that, why do we have to buy all these discs with these slipcovers? Why can't the slipcovers just be something that was in its own section where it's out of print slipcovers? 
because it just makes it confusing when you see the whole title there and you're like, oh, I didn't realize Zombie 5 Killing Birds was out, was out of print and unavailable. You know? And you feel like you need to run to it and jump on it. When well, at the end of the day, it's just a slipcover. The movie itself was never out of print because no one wanted it. They've been sitting on it for 80 years, basically, because it's an ancient garbage movie, just like everything else Vinegar Syndrome sells. Vinegar Syndrome is the masters of selling hot trash, but making it look cool and nice on your shelf, which I applaud them for. I think it's a great business proposition for me and them. But, you know, I'm not gonna buy my 10th copy of Spookies a movie that I have no reason to ever put in my player just so I can get two more slipcovers. That's the thing. I couldn't just buy each slipcover. I would have to buy two whole copies at MSRP, a movie that's been out from them for like 5 million years that should have just been 50% off. That's the other thing. These out-of-print titles were not on sale. They were full price. You were paying full price for all of them. There was no discounts. You know, you could have bought these when they were first released cheaper. They had a better discount then. And that's embarrassing. I I just don't get it. You know, Blade in the Dark, everyone's freaking out about that box. It's just like, come on, guys. Well, I knew this was going out of print. You know, had that nice bloody hand. You know, I made sure to secure myself multiple copies of that one, too. You know, just like everybody else. And I don't know how long that lasted, not that long. None of these lasted long. That's the other problem too. This stuff will literally last two seconds. Basically, as soon as you saw it, you had to click it and buy it or it was gone. You know, I, I just can't fathom why they thought that this sale was gonna work for them. And then they thought it was really gonna cap for them on Sunday when they revealed the new titles. And all they did was reveal a big bucket of disappointment. What the highlight is a sequel to Howling, Howling 2, which had, you know, the dude that played Van Helsing and Darth Vader in it. No one cares. That already had the definitive boutique treatment from Screen Factory, which was a super rare, super sought after disc, had multiple copies of it. And I was just like, man, I'm gonna be able to retire off this title. Now I have to buy it all over again because now it's on 4K and the Blu-ray is completely obsolete and I got to upgrade it. And I'm not happy about it. You know, now I can't brag about that. Now I got to brag about the Vinegar Syndrome one, but no one's even going to care when I brag about it because they're going to be able to buy it for at least the next six months. It's going to take that long for that slipcover to sell out. And I'm just going to look like an idiot until then. And I don't think that's fair. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to you. You know, they, they put out like some go fish movie, like, you know, it's some kind of black and white artsy fartsy nonsense. No one really wants more foreign crap, you know, more stuff from like, you know, third world countries like China. And I think uh, that United Kingdom place. Oh, I don't. Oh, yeah. Italy, lots of Italian crap. I don't know, guys. I just, I don't know what else to say. I'm just in complete utter amazement of how literally, you know, the top value maker in the physical media world, in the boutique Blu-ray world, can just literally lose themselves overnight. If it wasn't the only saving grace for them again, is those rare posters, which I forced myself to just buy as much hot garbage as I could just so I could hit the $750 goal where I could get these sick posters. Because I know those will pay off. You know, those are going to be worth probably like 3000 a piece. And I'm excited about that. And it'll make it all worth it, you know, I guess in the long run, but it's just... Man, you know, Vinegar Syndrome did not make it easy. It's like, it was literally like work trying to hit 750. I, I just don't even know. But yeah, 
that's all I have to say. Vinegar Syndrome really blew it. Um, comment down below. How disappointed were you? What did you pick up during the sale? Did you hit your $750 goal and get those ultra rare, sick, rad Labor Day sale posters? And while you're at it, like and subscribe. And hey, until next time, guys, keep slipping.